Hello and welcome to Timonet Design. I'm Dage and guess what we're doing today? Save and load selections in Photoshop? Yeah, how did you know? It's literally the title of the video. <laughs> I've opened this image in Photoshop and with the pen tool, I'll create a path around one of these objects. In the paths panel, you can see here the work path that I just created. You can click on this button or just press Ctrl or Command Enter to load the path as a selection. Now I want to create selections around other objects as well. But if I do that now, I will lose the previous selection that I did. Now I can easily press Shift to add a selection or Alt to subtract a selection. But what if I want to save these selections somewhere? So let's undo that. And before I create the second selection, let's first save the first one. Go to Select, Save Selection. Make sure you save it on a new channel. You can give it a name and then click OK. But where is it? It's still there on the canvas. Yeah, no, but where is it stored? I don't know. We just saved it somewhere. I don't know. Well, as you may remember, 10 seconds ago, we saved it on a new channel. So let's open the channels panel and here it is. So now let's create selections around other objects and save each selection to its own channel. So we now have all these channels here. And if you click on them, no, don't click on them. Let's go back to RGB and control click on them or command click on a Mac to load the selections. Alternatively, you can go to select, load selection and load a specific selection from here. You can also hold down the shift key and control click to add a selection or the alt or option key and control click to subtract the selection. One more thing. See this keyboard shortcut next to the channel, Control 6 Let's deselect. And if you press that, nope, don't press that. Go back to RGB. If you press Control alt 6 or Command Option 6, you will be loading the selection. And that's, that's what we want. But hey, how can we add and subtract selections using keyboard shortcuts? Oh, you'll have to press Control alt shift 6 <laughs> 